Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Bits of Care. I am so excited about today's topic. It has been on my heart for so long to talk about this. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys, or not tell you guys, teach you guys how to love yourself. This is a topic that we see many influencers talk about, and most of them say it's about changing your mindset. Just choose to love yourself. And I feel like there's a lot more that goes into loving yourself than just choosing to love yourself. So today I'm going to show you that love is a verb. Let's get into it. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my self-love journey, if that's what you want to call it. Um, learning to love myself and kind of my thought process to helping you guys out in this video. So for me, I really realized that I wanted to work on not only loving myself, but loving people. And when I came to realize that you love people, not just by saying, I love you, but by showing through your actions and the way that you treat those people that you love them. And then it clicked, it's the same way for ourselves. We can't just look in the mirror every morning and say, I love you. We also have to show that we love ourselves through our actions and through our words and how we treat ourselves. So it's one thing to look in the mirror and say, I love you, but then five minutes later, just completely ignore yourself and your own needs and neglect your needs and your wants and what you need to do for yourself. So I'm going to share with you guys a few examples of how we neglect ourselves and how by neglecting ourselves doesn't show that we love ourselves and how when we start to pay attention and prioritize ourselves, we start to really feel loved by ourselves and we also start to see ourselves differently. One of the main things that I see people do is neglecting themselves by not giving themselves time to rest and reset. Now I have a whole blog post about what a reset day is. It will literally take you two minutes to read. So go down to the description, read that so you can figure out what a reset day is and how you can set one up. But overall, I'll give you a short little summary of what a reset day is. A reset day is a day where you reset your physical and your mental space. So taking care of yourself, resting, cleaning, and along with a lot of those self-care things. So go ahead, check out the blog post. I'll make sure I'll link it down below for you. But a lot of the times we get so busy that we neglect that we need time for ourselves. Here's an example. You see a loved one who's struggling, has no time to take a breath, who is just so overwhelmed with their life and they're really stressed out 24 seven. You love them, right? And you wish that you could help them by giving them time to relax and just breathe for a second. You want them to feel their best. Same thing goes for yourself. You love yourself, you want to see yourself feeling your best, and you want to see that you are thriving, not just surviving this life. I know that it is so hard to find time to relax, trust me, but that's when we get a little confused. You don't have to have a whole day. If you can't fit in your schedule a whole day out of your week to just take care of yourself, don't worry about it. Find time throughout your week. You have 25 minutes. What are you going to do with those 25 minutes? Are you going to take those 25 minutes and stress out? Or are you going to take those 25 minutes and go on a walk, read a book, breathe, drink a nice cup of coffee, do something that you love, take a hot shower, something in those 25 minutes. Time is so much better when you use it for things for yourself and for the people that you love and you are someone that you love so this is how you're going to show yourself that you love you and I know it sounds super weird to talk about yourself like this like I need to love me but it's not only saying I love me today it's also about showing me how I'm going to love me today so that's my first one. I'm going to cut myself off. Otherwise, I'm going to ramble about it. <laughs> so on to the second example. Words are powerful. How you speak to yourself and how you speak to others makes a big impact on their lives and your life. You wouldn't go to someone that you love and say, oh, that shirt looks ugly on you. You wouldn't go to someone that you love and say, why does your hair look like that? Why does your skin look like that? Why are you built that way? We don't talk to people we love like that. So why are we going to talk to ourselves like that? We deserve the same amount of kindness out of our mouths that we give to others around us. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, 
that shirt looks really good on you today. You know, you don't have to talk like that, but make the decision in your mind to silence those negative, doubtful thoughts about yourself. Switching one thought from something bad to something good, over time, it will get so much easier to see yourself in a better way, I guarantee. If you see a negative thought pop up in your head, say, no, you know what? Maybe it says, nobody likes you. You're like, nope, I am liked, I will find my people. Maybe you have a thought that pops in your head that says, you're so ugly. Why can't you look like that person you saw online? You say, you know what? I am built different and God created me beautifully and wonderfully. You have to start um, countering those thoughts and pushing those thoughts aside because they are not the truth about you. Those are just lies that you have been speaking over yourself. So loving yourself, I'm going to be completely honest, it's not easy. I mean, love takes patience and it takes kindness and forgiveness and it's something that has to be slowly shown and given so once again show through your words and your actions that you love yourself think of yourself as someone else that you love because you are someone that you love and you're someone that deserves the same amount of love that you give there's one thing that you get from this entire video it's that you need to show yourself love not just by one decision you wake up and you're like oh yeah today i'm gonna love myself and then forget about yourself the rest of the day i want you guys to slowly add habits that show yourself that you love you maybe you've really been wanting to eat better and because you feel better when you eat better so you decide to actually start making yourself a good breakfast or a good lunch those small changes are showing yourself that you love yourself just like with a friend, if you decide, oh, I'm going to text them every single morning just to say good morning and I hope you have a great day, just so they know that I love them. It's the same way. Those small habits make a big impact on their day, on your day, and on your life. So when you decide to start treating yourself as someone that you love, you're going to start loving yourself properly through your actions and your words. I really want you guys to know that if you are struggling with not feeling enough or not feeling loved at all, God loves you so much and he absolutely wants to fully embrace you in his love. His love is patient and his love is kind and his love is graceful and he fully loves you the way that you are today. You do not need to be changed. You do not need to change anything about you to feel his love. His love is unconditional. And I hope you guys really begin to see your true worth in him. So I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.